My name is Marshall Teller. I knew my new hometown was going to be different from where I grew up in New Jersey, but this is ridiculous. Nobody believes me, but Erie, Indiana is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. <laughs> Item. Elvis lives on my paper route. Thank you, little paper boy. Item. Bigfoot eats out of my trash. Item. Even man's best friend is weird. Still don't believe me? You will. Back in New Jersey, we had blizzards and the occasional hurricane, but it was equal opportunity weather. It went after everybody. But here in Erie, Indiana, I couldn't help feeling that bad weather was after me personally, especially tornadoes. Tornadoes are 200 mile an hour windstorms with minds of their own. But here in Erie, instead of taking shelter in their basements, people celebrated something called Tornado Day. Marshall, Simon, time to go to the picnic. I'm not going. Marsh, it's our first tornado day. How can you even think of going? Every year, a tornado named Old Bob strikes Erie on the same day. And they've turned it to some kind of mondo voodoo pagan ritual. Do you ever have a normal thought? What happened? Couldn't find the off switch on your blow dryer? Marshall, it's just a local superstition, an excuse for a picnic. Tornadoes are the most unpredictable events in nature. Look at it this way. You ever see a groundhog on Groundhog Day? And there isn't a cloud in the sky. One year, a tornado did carry off Mr. Degenford. Everybody said old Bob was picking on him for not going to the picnic. Simon, you've been hanging around Marshall too much. Simon, didn't you say you bought a raffle ticket? Uh, I did, but I was forced. I know why I won't go with us. It all started the first time he saw the Wizard of Oz. He's afraid of tornadoes. The only thing I'm afraid of is being seen in public with you. All right, all right, enough. Okay, Marshall, if you're worried about tornadoes, stay here. If a cyclone comes and you hear a siren, and that's a big if, just go down to the southeast corner. No, 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 that's the southwest corner. Uh, the basement. Okay, let's go. Don't want to be late. Old Bob might have a cow. Last chance to change your mind. No way. Suit yourself. Simon? Uh, no thanks, Mrs. Teller. They're crazy. Looney Tunes. But after an hour, if old Bob hasn't shown up, could we go to the drawing? We interrupt our Commando Cody Marathon for the special report. I'm weatherman Wally from WERD Weather Central. Our weather map shows this cell of violent air four miles south of Erie, moving northwest at a high rate of speed. Just in time for the tornado day drawing. Old Bob is back, right on schedule. Navigational checks showed me blowing up Highway 3 out of Muncie. <laughs> Weren't you boys at the picnic? What are you trying to do? Make them mad? Make who mad? Old Bob. 
Erie, Indiana, day 139. He said his name was Howard Raymer and that he fell out of a tornado. Even on the eerie scale of weirdness from one to 10, 10 being the weirdest, this was definitely a nine and a half. Want some Dijon with that? Yeah, good idea. How'd you get in the tornado? Mm, I picked up old Bod's yearly formation just east of Indianapolis yesterday afternoon. And the Metso cyclone started to shape up early this morning. Next thing I knew, I was aloft. <clears throat> Six hours inside the old tornado rider. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> it's incredibly dangerous. But hey, somebody's got to do it. I work for Noah. The guy from the Bible? No, 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 Noah. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I'm a meteorologist. Never met a weatherman before. No. Weathermen are guys who wear stupid pink bow ties on TV. A meteorologist is a scientist. Sorry. It's okay. Besides an iron will and nerves of steel, you need scientific training to deal with tornadoes. 300 mile per hour winds can drive a piece of straw through a tree or strip the clothes off a man. A tornado is as temperamental as a two-year-old who's lost his toys. You make it sound like it's alive. That's my theory. That all violent weather systems, tornadoes, cyclones, hurricanes, water spouts, are alive. Why else would people give them names? Like old Bob? Old Bob in particular. He likes to collect things. I think he picked up Amelia Earhart. Sucked her right out of the Pacific. Simon, remember that old Lockheed Electra they found in Deadwood Park? Amelia Earhart's plane. You don't suppose she's that old lady we always see jogging? So what makes you think tornadoes are living things? <laughs> Come with me. What is this thing anyway? My own invention. The tornado rider. This is a radioisotopic, thermally generated, cyclonic acoustic data storage unit. Built it myself. I'd suppose you'd have to. What's the deal? It records the vocal sounds of a tornado. You're listening to old Bob himself. Sounds like a bunch of wind. That's what everyone says. My boss, my girlfriend. You just have to listen. This is proof. That's the voice of a tornado? No way. How's it know your name? We're old pals, Bob and me. What'd you mean when you said old Bob was mad? Madder than bumblebees in a blender. Big storms have big egos, and Bob... I hate the name Bob. It's no exception. Every year, he leaves Erie alone because they throw a picnic for him. When you guys didn't go, well, he took that as a sign of disrespect. You mean to tell me a twister's mad because I missed a picnic? <laughs> Listen to this. Marshall, Marshall Teller, Marshall, Marshall Teller. Marshall, you gotta believe me. If I don't get back up on that twister fast, there's no telling what kind of damage he might do. Do what you gotta do. Just get him out of here. I, I will, but I need your help. Wait a second. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. We just told Bob. Hey, folks, you know, uh, now that Bob has passed us by, uh, I think we're about ready to begin all the events of the day. In fact, why don't we join Miss Tornado Day for the grand drawing? Do what he calls. Hi, sweetheart. So, Marshall was right. Old Bob appeared right on schedule. How can you be so calm? Well, what happened, really? It was just the way everyone said it would be. Every year, old Bob appears, takes a swipe at the trailer court, and moves on. <laughs> I'm worried about Marshall. I'm sure he was safe in the basement the moment the siren sounded. OK, 
Give him a call. Hello, residents. Oh, hi, Dad. No, 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 it's all right. He, no, uh, no, we hardly felt it here. No, no. Everything's perfectly normal. Yeah, bye. I wasn't quite sure how to act around Howard, but we had to do something. It was my fault. I was on the board. Message recorded. I'm all set. With these jumper cables, we'll be able to turn every warning siren in here into a giant set of speakers. And if that doesn't get the message across, nothing will. Ready, troops? Uh, after you, Mars. What about you, Marshal? Are you with me? Or again me? Anything to scare old Bob. Simon, if anything happens... I can have your bike? Simon. Step right up. Time's running out to enter the 87th Annual Tornado Day Grand Prize Sweepstakes. Take a chance to win an all-aluminum travel trailer courtesy of the Erie RV World. The second prize in the big blowout sweepstakes is a three-day all-expense-pay vacation to our sister city of Normal, Illinois. <laughs> We better go home. No one's going anywhere. This is an emergency situation. Everyone will take shelter in this building. I don't. In September 1967, a tornado struck St. Louis, Missouri, destroying a whole row of five-story buildings, but leaving a kid's lemonade stand untouched. We couldn't let that happen. Not even to Erie. Old Bob had to go. Today, for good. They wanted this to be his last tornado. <laughs> Falls. 
Maybe I could borrow your bike. No way. The basement now. I'll go out there naked if I have to. Why? It's me he's mad at. You don't understand it. It's for my friends. Friends? friends? Six years ago, I was in charge of this group at NOAA. We were all obsessed with tornadoes. Some were researchers, some were daredevils, but we all had one thing in common. We all wanted to know the secrets. I knew it was dangerous, but I was arrogant. I led seven men into the belly of old Bob. Only I came out. That tornado killed my friends. I gotta do something about it. Getting killed won't help. All I wanna do is trick old Bob into crossing Lake Erie. The moist, cool air will finish him. How do you trick a tornado? You ride him like a rodeo cowboy. Yeah! Longer you hang on, the more control you have. Using my cyclonic data unit, I can get right into the exact center of the funnel, and I've got a chance to steer it. Where am I going to find a new tornado rider? I've got an idea. Come on. There's old Bob now. I wish you would stop talking about it like it's some college buddy. No, honey, this happens every year. Doesn't it, Redford? No. I've never seen it this bad before. It's terrifying! The wind's speeding! Thanks, I needed that. Please move to the rear of the store. Good idea. Well, shouldn't we be underground somewhere, like like in a basement? This store was hardened against nuclear strikes. It's perfectly safe. Sweetheart, come on! Right there! So what about you, officer? I laugh at things. sure is riled up this year. We may be forced to take some extraordinary measures. You don't mean... Right. Human sacrifice is barbaric. Besides, where would we find an innocent, chaste, unsuspecting maiden? <laughs> what?
not again. That's the all clear. You're free to return to your homes. God bless you all. Want a sandwich? Find Marshall, come on. Marshall? Mars? Ollie, uh, Ollie, oxen free. But he just walked out into the storm. Our Marshall. But he was so afraid of that tornado. In the end, he was incredibly brave. You know, I almost feel bad about all the mean things I said. Oh, Edgar. No, honey, nothing's gonna happen to Marshall. He's too, too. Hey, what about handsome? And I didn't hear brilliant or cool. <gasps> Marshall, you're alive! Well, how on earth did you get up there in that tree? I had a little help from old Bob. You mean you were outside when the tornado struck? Didn't you hear the warning? I had a job to do. Hey, it's just old Bob. Nothing to be afraid of, right? Right. Now get down out of that tree. Mars, where is Howard? Weatherman Wally had a UFO report. Someone had seen a spacecraft that looked a lot like a Windmaster trailer headed toward the Great Lakes at 300 miles an hour. Maybe Howard was crazy. Maybe he was some kind of genius. I don't know. But thanks to him, I'll never let Eris scare me again. Well, not as much. <laughs>